Trump attends Las Vegas church and the pastor prophesies a second win. President Donald Trump attended the Sunday morning service at International Church of Las Vegas, where senior associate pastor Dennis Golett prophesied a second presidential win for him. At 4.30, the Lord said to me, I'm going to give your president a second win, Golett told Trump, who joined hundreds of congregants for the morning service. The Lord said he is ready for the next four years. This was Trump's third time visiting the non-denominational church, which welcomed him enthusiastically. This is your third time here. That means you're a church member, senior leader Paul Gallet told Trump. I don't care what anybody says. I love my president. Lauded Trump for protecting the unborn, protecting church heads' religious freedom, moving the embassy to Jerusalem, and bringing jobs back to America, among other things. People are saying you're being political. I'm not. The Bible says give honor to whom honor is due. I'm honoring the president right now because he's done the right thing, Gaulette said. The lead pastor also told Trump the answer to my prayers. When it comes to the value of the nation, God is great and he chose the right man, Gaulet said. Others may curse him, but we bless him. Congregation stretched out their hands to pray for and bless Trump. Gaulet said he will fast for Trump and his family once a week until the election. Heaven has sent an army of angels to protect you. It may be a mess right now, but God chose a fighter to straighten things out. Trump spoke at the end of the service and noted that he loves going to church. I'll be back many times, Trump said. I know you've had a rough time in terms of the city, has been a tough place, but the job you've done to get people back is really very special. Trump, who contracted COVID-19, was cleared to resume public activities on October 10th. Some attendees wore face masks. Current COVID-19 guidelines in Las Vegas allow for 250 people or 50% of the occupancy of houses of worship, both indoors and outdoors. Good morning, Mr. President Trump. It's good to see you again. At 4.30, the Lord said to me, I am going to give your president a second win. Whoa. Now, this has three meanings, three meanings. A win, that you will be the president again. And a win, that when an athlete is running a marathon, there's such a thing as a second win, where you come to a point where you have no energy. I'm an athlete, so I know. You have no energy, I was anyways. <laughs> Um, I, you have no energy and you feel like you have no strength. But all of a sudden, the, 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 the lungs of this athlete has been trained in high altitudes. Yeah. And because of that, it's, the athlete is able to get so much energy that it's amazing, wins the, and at least finishes, ends, you know, finishes the marathon. This is what the Lord's saying. He says, he has made your, your, your lungs, your body, your spirit, your strength. He has made it in such a way that you have been trained in such high pressured places in the last four years and even before that. And the Lord said, he is ready for the next four years and I'm giving him a second win. Do you understand that? And there's also this, a second wind. If you add D, it's the Holy Spirit. And the Lord showed me today, He showed me today that you were coming to get a second wind of a second, uh, another infilling of the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit makes you able to finish. Take this to the end, Mr. President. And then He said to me that you were the apple of His eye. And that's what we are, friends. We're the apple of His, of His eye. And then he's protecting you like he is protecting the ancient foundations of our nation. Amen. God wants to be in the middle of our nation. Yes. And then I believe this is it right here. I believe that this is what's happening. There might have been a little bit of a setback, 
But that was nothing. It was a setup for the comeback Come of a on. double win. I decree and declare that right now. In Come Jesus on. Name. Come on. So Let's we bless you, Mr. President.